Uh, welcome to Thrifting Thursdays, episode one. This week we're going to be going to Darkford, but we're currently in G-Town at the moment because I've just got my COVID vaccine done, which was fun, which was a really pleasurable experience. But one of the side effects are temporal one side face drooping. So if my face starts going weird midway through the video, you, uh, you know what's going on. But uh, let's head to Darkford and actually go hit the charity shops and see what we can get. But I've just hit Darford, no face drooping as of yet, which is a, a positive sign. But before we hit the charity shops, we need to change into the spy hoodie so we can get this sick angle. But no need to stress, i am still got my other camera with me so we can get this angle as well. You're probably watching this video as well, wondering what time of year it is, thinking, oh, you've saved this video for a long time. Like, it looks like it's winter. Yeah, no, it's currently the 16th of August. And uh, as you can see, it looks like it's going to rain. I'm also feeling raindrops on my face, so it is currently raining as well this is peak english summer nice just what i wanted what's going on over there a little uh, public disturbance a couple policemen talking to two blokes i think they look pretty innocent to me so it's, it's a good start the first charity shop the rspca one shut hopefully that's not a sign for things to come if you know about this one as well this rspca shop used to bang used to get loads of stuff out of there oh well the scope one's open that's a good sign that's a good sign hopefully there's some baggy bits in there but we headed into the charity shop and this hand sanitizer clips giving me deja vu from the first time we went in this charity shop in the dartford town review but i headed over to the back where the, all the men's stuff is but i see this jewelry stand and i quickly had a look at it but it was all just full of women's stuff and none of it was very good either because i've been trying to buy myself some little jewelry a ring especially because i bought some rings off boohoo man that came in these little packets i made a little tiktok about it but uh, i've worn them for a couple days and they are starting to turn my finger green so i 100 percent need to invest in some new ones because i can't have that happening but i'm not out here trying to spend 50 pounds on a ring but once i hit the back i see this shoe rack and there were so many shoes on this shoe rack and there were these like yeezy look-alike things can't lie i did double check check to see if they actually were Yeezys. I knew they weren't going to be, but you never know, I'd hope. They're only like £15 as well, which really isn't too bad considering the shoes they were. They were size 11 though, but then there were these Balenciaga lookalikes as well. This shop was just full of lookalikes. And then there were these like red lavery shoes. This is like a matte colour that you can get on GTA. That's what it really reminded me of, but these were kind of nuts. Not a little bit of me to be honest. But then I started to go through all the clothes. I really did like the look of that like white shirt thing with all the patterns on it, but I wasn't going to be buying it. Then there was this nightgown as well, which I thought was quite funny, like a bit of a random one. I thought it was like a retro sports jacket to start off with. Got so gassed, and then I found out it was a nightgown. Oh, then what's that? Go back, go back. That looks sick. What is that? How did I miss that when I was there? That actually looks quite cool. I don't know what it is, but that print on the back and the colour looks quite sick. Was I just blind that day? How did I not see that? But then I just went onto the t-shirts, and really, once again, nothing really too good on in the t-shirts there was some okay bits in there like there was a lot of printed t-shirts as you can see but the printed t-shirts weren't really all that they were just kind of ones that you'd find in primark and something like that so i weren't really too bothered to be honest then i see these mad like goth style boots like they were kind of insane they had this like weird green pattern all over them not a bit of me but i thought they were interesting so i left empty handed from here which i was very disappointed about half price sale what's going on but that lifted my mood a little bit the half price sale that was in the british heart foundation shop kind of gas because this british heart foundation shop as well has come through big time in the past like i got loads of really sick shirts out of there like i can't think of the brand of the shirt but they were like a high quality brand but i started going through the infamous shirt rail and it did not live up to what it had done before in the past like it was nothing comparable i was kind of tempted to try these sunglasses on though because i've also been trying to buy myself some sunglasses i really want to get a pair of like the square like 70s or like 80s style ones but then there was some top 
quality ninja merch in there. I don't think this was actual official ninja merch, but it was defo ninja merch. I think it was probably off like Red Bubble or something like that. But I headed over to the CDs because I'm trying to get some CDs to put on my wall and I see this Mika CD, which was only 99p. This Mika CD cover art is so sick. This is like 100% some of my favorite cover art ever on any album. Like I've even got the other album that has a similar cover art ready for when I'm going to put them on my wall. But what you just heard was a random act of kindness, which happened while I was looking at the CDs from a random man to a, like a boy who was just buying some clothes. I liked when he said, God blesses me, God blesses you. I thought that was brilliant. But then the boy in the queue was saying that he was going to pay on the random act of kindness to the next person. And as I was planning to buy this CD, it meant I was going to be the next person because there was no one else in the shop at this point. And I felt too bad to let him pay for my CD. So I didn't end up getting the CD, which I just thought about why didn't I go back oh well let's hope it's there next time I go whenever that will be another one closed what's going on why is it closed why were all the charity shops shut this day I didn't get it I just went on a Monday no charity shops aren't normally shut on a Monday but I think that's two so far that have been shut and that one again was another good one but the one next door was open and I've said it before I don't know how to say it it's called Mary Carey I'm not really too sure I know it was named after a female scientist I don't know how to pronounce her name properly though don't don't but I found some classic year six shoes the copper 90s are they called I'm not really too sure but these were legendary i think they look so sick i started to go through the jackets as well though there was nothing really too much in the jackets there was nothing really special at all compared to some of the stuff i found in here before the same with the t-shirts it was just a random selection of just plain shirts or like striped shirts or just printed t-shirts which really weren't all that at all this one better be open no way is it still shut this one's been shut since before covid and once again another charity shop that was shut two island a charity shop shut back to back and as i said this one has been shut since before covid i've never been in this one. Oh my god i'm going in this one and if you're wondering what the shop i'm talking about was it's that like food shop i think it was like a world food shop like supermarket style thing and if you know me i like to try random foods that i've never heard of before which i don't know what they are it's probably one of my favorite hobbies so you know i had to get something out of this shop but i think i'm might have got scammed because when i was paying i gave them the cash and i weren't too sure if i had the right amount and then the man proceeded to say this so that either means i got a really good deal and didn't pay enough or i overpaid and he just took whatever i overpaid but if i did overpay it was literally like 20p so it's really not too deep but it's 20p i would have liked that 20p but let's cut back to me showing you everything that i got out of that one old food shop and giving it a little taste test i bought these joy foods sign core others literally they taste like biscuits and as you can see i've had a uh, quite a few thought i was gonna break my teeth when i first bit into those there's nothing really too special about them though they were just biscuits this is where it starts to get interesting no idea what these are no labeling so who knows where they were made or what they're made from well it's like a weird peanut butter ball. I think it's got nutmeg in it. And I'm not the biggest fan of nutmeg. Oh, it's got a lot of nutmeg in it as well. Jesus. <laughs> should have got a drink and this is something that i've wanted to get for ages this little like selection tray thing but let's bust this open let's try out whatever this one is smells nice that one bangs it's like a puff pastry with almost like a peanut buttery thing in the middle let's get onto this one i think i've just got like one long strip of whatever this is in the middle oh that's amazing who knows what that is in the middle of that like that looks very different Mm, it's nice whatever it is now onto the last thing that literally looks like oh it's going everywhere looks like some sort of like oatmeal thing like a weird almondy thing it was nice though whatever it was well that was a little bit of a bust for a uh first come thrift of me i was planning a little giveaway and everything like that but that might have to come in next video now but next video i'm going to try and revisit gray's end like i did in the town review and hopefully we get some stuff out of there i used to get quite a lot of stuff so i think i'll be able to pull it out of the bag there but if you aren't already subscribed what's going on you're absolutely insane because there's going to be so many more of these coming out and they're going to be so much more insane than this one probably more likely probably more likely but if you haven't already 
where's the like on the video what's going on what, what are you doing but i really do hope you have enjoyed if you want to see more of me head over to my second channel first link in the description and as well if you want to see more of me i've told you what to do already subscribe but i hope to see you in another video